Hello to my Taurus. This is Queen Amura coming to you with your general reading. All right, let's get right into it, Taurus. Let's see what's in your cards. Talking to you wherever Taurus is in your birth chart. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. All right, let's get into it. Let's see what's in your cards. All right, let's see what's in your cards. All right. So I see you, I see you leaving behind some energies that have left you in the dark about some things see you leaving behind three energies that have left you in the dark about some things they didn't tell you everything they had a belief system and somehow you just kind of went with it so but they kept you in the dark about some things didn't tell you everything right so i, I see being able to defend your decision to move on from some things without even coming across as defensive yeah i see you um just in general, when people don't tell you everything, you know, like you're not going to know everything up front, right? You're not going to know everything. But I feel like, you know, when you know at least what your moon sign is and you know how to pour into yourself, somebody is definitely going to learn how to um, be assertive and ask questions. Like somebody's at least going to learn how to ask questions, right? Like, um, just in general so find out what your moon sign is and um when you feel like you're at a looking at your cards because i feel like somebody is going to get married but i feel like somebody is now learning how to when you feel like you're at a crossroad in, in just any situation i feel like somebody is now going to learn how to be more assertive more structured more authoritative more of asking questions that's what i feel like now because You've had, it looks like you've had enough situations where now that you're back in the saddle again, somebody has had enough situations where it was just too confusing, just too much confusion going on. And so sources said, because you're around energies, it's their way or the highway. And so when you're around those types of energies where it's their way or the highway, sources saying to you, it's just too confusing. So if you ask questions from the beginning, then it won't feel like you're in a, a in opposition with somebody that you're in business with or that you love like a marriage in business or marriage that you love if you initiate asking the questions like that's what source is trying to help you because again i feel like somebody is leaving behind certain belief systems where you feel like you're in the dark about something like somebody's not telling you everything and so you also want to be that person where again you don't want to leave other people in the dark where they're not being told stuff and you know stuff too so um that's the only way it's going to work right so on this card right here like sometimes you may see like two horses like you may see a black horse and a white horse right so we're talking about duality in order for it to work you need both of those horses pulling a carriage, right? On this particular car, the person is on a motorcycle, right? But it's still it's talking about duality. In order for something to work, there has to be, you're not looking for perfection and somebody like talking down to them or letting them talk down to you. So somebody, again, I see somebody getting married. Source is rewarding you actually for speaking up. That's what source is actually rewarding you for. So asking questions asking questions not just going along with just something just because it's just something to go along with right there it is you all are incredibly smart you know so it's saying it's time to use some wisdom it's time to use some wisdom so i see you being able to defend your decision to move on from something without coming across as defensive but i see you just freeing yourself like okay something is just too confusing it just don't even make sense anymore at this point that's what I'm looking at here in the cards. Like something has just, you, somebody's just kind of at a crossroad. Like, okay, something is just too confusing. Right? And it's causing people emotional wounding. The five of pentacles. Just a bunch of chaos and confusion. I don't know why people just like a bunch of just mess. Just a bunch of just chaos. So I see you tossing some things into a birdie bowl and getting some sun. Recharging under that sunlight. That's what I see you doing just detaching from something like you only want to be a part of something it's a new beginning for you 
New beginning. You keeping a bunch of a bunch of chaos, confusion, a bunch of gossip outside of your vault door, meaning outside of your life. You're saying you only want to hear it. Anything confusing or chaotic or calling somebody names, like people are determined to compete, compare. Somebody keeping somebody in the dark. They believe this and this low vibration. All of it. You like I don't, you don't even want to be a part of it. So good for you. Yeah, good for you. So like I said before, I feel like somebody is getting married, but somebody is learning now. Like something has pushed you to the light side of emperor energy. Something has pushed you on the throne. Or something put a fire up under you or pushed you up on the throne and said, okay, listen. And emotionally, you're going to feel like you hit the jackpot. Yeah, something you know, emotionally feel like you hit the jackpot because you've learned how to heal yourself. You've learned how to heal your own spirit, you know, out of being in a survival mode yourself, right? So that's what's going to help somebody understand, like, okay, wait a minute, you've been in survival mode yourself. Like, what if somebody keeping you in the dark about something? Here we have the, um, the magician card. So this is where you're going to, something's going to offer some clarity for you. Right, here's the emperor card. And something is offering clarity for you because, um, yeah, so here's before you call somebody a snake, here's the seven of um, cups here. The scales are being removed from your eyes. Source is saying you're having a Kundalini experience of, of just remembering the places you've outgrown. This is what somebody's learning. It's like a, you've outgrown. It's like repeating a, repeating a class. Keep repeating a class. You've outgrown the class. Like there's nothing else to learn there, right? Nothing else to learn. So I do feel like, um, you know, there is, um, you have tons of opportunities coming across your path, but your motivation has changed. Your motivation has totally changed. Somebody has a sea of opportunities coming away. You're traveling. Somebody could be world, a world traveler, you know, but you're leaving something behind. Yeah, you're, you're leaving behind this whole idea that, uh, you know, whoever, wolf in sheep's clothing, whatever, you're leaving something behind. You're moving on. Here's the two of um, swords here. So somebody could be like um, kind of like upside down when it comes to just like having on blindfolds, like not being able to see things and just finally try to get some rest. So your motivation, in other words, in short, has changed. Looking at your cards, your motivation has changed. Somebody now knows how to use their fire responsibly, right? So. But source is saying, love up on yourselves more. Much better lies ahead. Um, somebody's ex misses them. Or oh, somebody misses you. But um, wealth is within your reach. Yeah. So it looks like new money is coming across somebody's path. But that's what source is just trying to say. is like trying to put you, trying to help you to learn how to be more assertive instead of just kind of sitting back and just having this drought this would, if, if, if so as an earth sign if too much fire there would be too much sunlight not enough water right not enough water not enough air not enough whatever in order for something to grow so that would be like energies in survival mode right energies that's in survival a lot of anxiety energies in survival mode I don't know who this is, but somebody misses you. So it needs you to love up on yourselves. Really, really love up on yourselves. So. Close out the cycle in love and walk away. Yeah. So the angel of prophecy and wisdom is with you, but um, you are protected in love. Drink more water. That's calm that fire and that anxiety down. That anger, frustration, all that. Drink more water. I talk about it a lot on my channel. So anyway, um, somebody wants to call you, but they haven't changed. Whoever that is, only you all know what it is, who it is. It's a general reading. Take only what resonates with you. 
But that's what I feel like you'll be doing this week. I feel like your your prayer life will increase this week. Adding structure. Let's say you're connecting with your womb. What and that will be whatever you're passionate about. Like again, your your motivation has changed. So if you're passionate about traveling, I see you connecting with that. If you're passionate about um I don't know, maybe somebody could have a motorcycle and be riding your motorcycle or something you could be passionate about. You know, um, maybe going to the beach. That could be something that you're passionate about. This person is jumping out of a treasure chest so you could be passionate about, you know, <laughs> playing the lottery. I don't know. But whatever it is you're passionate about, that's what I see you doing. I see you doing whatever it is that you're passionate about, learning how to use your fire responsibly. But what you don't want to do is be connected to chaos and confusion. That's what's putting you back on your saddle, back in the saddle, moving on. You're definitely moving on from something. So affirmations for patience. I'm here in this present moment. I have all that I need. I lack nothing. Time is relative. Right now is all that matters. I wait with excitement. All good things come in due time. All is working for my highest good. Right? So let's see what else is in this card. Let's see what else is in this card. Abundance. I'm so thankful that all of my wants and needs are always met at the perfect time and in the perfect way. I'm living the life of my dreams. I acquire everything my heart desires with ease. Yep. That's what I've been saying. Venus, your ruling planet is Venus. Yep. So, source is saying you, you've dealt with two energies that, um, like I said, two energies have jumped to conclusions about... Um, you it could be more than that it could have been more than that jump to conclusions about you thought that you were just this wolf in sheep's clothing and these are two types of energy so you were just this wolf in sheep's clothing that you were just very confusing whatever it was whoever whoever these energies are um but a lot of things are coming to light about these things um So, let me see. Yeah, but you're, you're, you're learning how to believe in your, your own star. I mean, I mean, and I'm not talking about celebrity, but you're learning how to believe in your own purpose. You know, learning how to dream big. So here we have 22, I am aligned. So you are in possession of incredible creative powers, and it is assured that you can achieve anything you wish. So that's right. Stay aligned. Aligned. Stay aligned. So, here we have family. So, 23. So, that is what I have for you. I, I feel like somebody is definitely leaving leaving behind, um, you know, just leaving behind some energy. You just, like I said, your motivation has changed. You're definitely moving on. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.